Jake, man. You know, and a lot of and a lot of dudes like him is popping up out of nowhere now. Like, where did he just, where did he come from? You know what I'm saying? So that that, that that's um to be carnally minded is enmity with the most high, man. You see? So you have no faith. Zero faith. What did the most high tell most ex let's get to ex the seven man? Talking about Kame, Kame Ha. All that's talking about Israel, man. DC. See, but you're not spiritual to even know that, man. Con. You've been in America too long, man. Okay? You read about the fame. How you think David and them guys back then were far more masculine and taller and bigger and stronger than the men now? See? They're on a much higher level, man. The earth itself was bigger. Food was bigger. Fruits was bigger. Like, and King David by himself was slaying 23,000 men. How was he doing that, man? Yeah. Okay? These fighters today, the Mike Tysons, they couldn't survive in the ancient world. Right? They think it was against slain, man. God. So how was King David, explain to me how he was able to kill 23,000 men. Okay, it takes more than just being a master swordsman. Ain't no master swordsman could do that. He had spiritual power, man. That's right. Okay? Don't give a damn how nice you are with a gun. You can't uh, take out 20,000 other dudes with a gun, man. That's right. Okay? No matter how, you're the best sniper ever. You're going to get, eventually you're going to get hit, man. Gone. Okay? Same thing with King David. It was more than him just having a sword or a weapon. The most I had to be with him, man. Right. In order for him to do those feats, man. Mm -hmm. What sword and shield did Moses have? We're going to read right now. Exodus 7 and 1. Exodus, Exodus chapter 7, verse 1. And Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh. And Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Read that again. Exodus 7 verse 1. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Mosai told Moses, I made thee a god to Pharaoh. Pharaoh and his armies couldn't stand up to the power of Moses because of Mosai was with him. Okay? And at the end of the day, like it says, the Exodus the 15th chapter, it might be 14. It might be Exodus 14, 14. You see? Gun. Exodus 14 and 14. Yahweh by Shimei Shah. Matter of fact, start further. Start further. Come on, I'll start at verse. Uh, okay, start verse 8. Alright, come on. Exodus 14 and 8. That's why the scripture says the things that are written aforetime are written for our learning. Right. That read through patience and faith of the scriptures might have hope. Might have hope. You think the Bible was written for why you think them records are there? You're gonna read that too. First John after this. Read that. Exodus 14 and verse 8. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So who hardened his heart? It wasn't even him. It was the heavenly father. Uh, the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. The rivers of what he turned it whatsoever he will. He hardened his heart because he wanted to show his power. Mm -hmm. The most size heart is Esau's heart right now. That's right. He's puffing him up, putting that battery in his back. Just for him to get destroyed. Man. That's right. All right, go ahead. And he pursued after the children of Israel, and the children of Israel went out with an high hand. But the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, and the horsemen, and his army, and overtook and dumped oh, and overtook them at camping by the sea, beside Baha Arath before Baal Zephon. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes and beheld the Egyptians marched after them and they were so afraid and the children of Israel cried out, cried out unto the Lord verse 11 and they said unto Moses because there were no graves in Egypt has thou taken us away to die in the wilderness that whole gender was just complaining from Egypt to the wilderness and the most high got rid of that generation yeah. and only their kids went in yeah. yes so that wicked generation is back yeah. this time they're going to taste that nuclear fire that nuclear heat Okay. Done. Jake's in a Christian church. You're the same Jake's that were bowing down to the golden calf. Mm -hmm. Saying it was the golden calf who got us out of Egypt. Reprobates, man. Okay. Wow. Uh, reading on down. Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. That's our people right now. That's their mind state right now. Right? They don't want to be free. They don't want to go to the hardships. Get in the kingdom. They're just more comfortable being in captivity. 
But well, guess what? We in the news we can look Esau getting tired of looking at your black asses. That's right. That's why he's gonna move, make a move on you now. Mm -hmm. Because he's looking at you, you're just taking up space, man. You're just using up the world's resources. You're just going. Uh -huh. Alright? So now we're gonna exterminate you now, man. See? Alright, these other nations are not your friend, man. Go ahead. Verse 13, and Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, mm -hmm. which he will shew to you today. Show to God. Read on. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. He shall fight for you, man. Have you guys read these scriptures? I don't think you have, man. Right? You're trusting in your own power, man. Your own uh, might. Okay. What the hell can you do, man? Hmm? What can you do, man? Yeah, yeah, this is how you build your, uh, your M4. This man, come on, man. Shut up, man. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking, talking about a trained army, man? Trained, man. What are talking about all kind of technology this man has, man? Some that's known to the public and some that's not. This whole Elon Musk, Neuralink. You think he's just now working on this thing? They've been oh, working yeah, on this, right? They just announced it to the public, man. Okay? Let me show you the uh, uh, this Captain America's and Iron Man. You don't yeah. think Esau has that in his back pocket, man? Uh, uh. You don't think he have really men out here that are really super soldiers, man? Right, got, got them the in the lab right now. their freaking brain already, man? Yeah. Yeah, he probably got them in a the lab right now. It's at the little hop about Tom Chip looking thing. You man, know? come on, man. The Wolverine looking people, man. Yeah. Come on, man. So, cut it out with all that. Man. Get out of here with all that. Please. Yeah? Verse 15. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou to me, speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod. And stretch out thine hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them, and I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all the all, all his hosts, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, which when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. Oh, so the Most High got the victory. Okay. His name was exalted. Uh -huh. At the same time, after he sank America, he's going to get the victory again. Mm -hmm. Okay, this time he's going to use his son, Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. to do it, man. Okay. Right. It's miraculous things going to be happening before Yahweh Shah come back. Mm -hmm. Great deliverance stories, spiritual power, which you guys don't believe. Right. Yahweh Shah had spiritual power, man. Right? Yahweh Shah, the scripture tells you in the last chapter, of John, let's get that. Let's get that, man. We in a we in a we in a time of power, man. Because you're gonna need power or or divine intervention for uh, the Allah I am protecting you in the time this time that's coming. Because you yourself can't. I don't give a damn. Like you say, how much training you got? You got food or weapons stored up. You can't. You're not gonna make it. First of all, Esau talking about um, setting off nuke bombs. Dirty mm -hmm. nuke bombs, man. It is right now. We could be walking in just like in um, Lebanon. Just walking in the bombs. What, what cat of your training had done for you, man? Gun. Huh? Gun. Oh, you're, 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 you're nasty with the, the uh, sniper rifle. What could it have done for you in a situation like that, man? You can't snipe just a nuke. war plane just come and drop an oxygen bomb in the midst of the city right now. Gun. What can me and this brother do, man? No matter how bad we are, man. Mm -hmm. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing, man. Come on, man. They, they okay. may drop, you know, poison gas. Yeah, something poison like that. You're gonna snipe poison gas? Or, or he saw he got bombs underwater. He could trigger a tsunami. What are we gonna do? Some shit like that. Oh, you gonna you gonna shoot at the tsunami? Yeah. Come on, Jay. This man dumb, man. You are gonna need spiritual divine intervention, man. We gonna need your howl about Shmuel Shah. Point blank. We need your howl about Shmuel Shah. Okay. You know, both sides of like yeah. like like you read the the, the, the deliverance stories on um, the three holy children, Meshach, Cedric, and Bendigo, um, in the fiery furnace. Right? They were literally in the fiery furnace, but it didn't touch them. They didn't burn at all. They didn't, they didn't have no smell of smoke when it came out, nothing. And that, in this day and age, Esau may throw poison gas inside, 
inside your house, whatever the case may be, and you just don't smell it or it don't affect you at all. You gotta have that faith. But if you trust in the carnal weapons, you're gonna take a gun down, try to shoot it, and you're gonna get put to death, man. You know, like the brother was saying, the tsunami, Esau could probably trigger a tsunami. You know, tsunami may come, most time may put like a, 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 a shield around you, man. Yeah. You know, and it just go over you, you still breathing air, and it just goes over you until it dies down. Next thing you know, you're walking freely, everyone knows you drowned, they got put to death. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta have faith in how about shooting down shot, man. That's, that's the only way you're gonna get delivered in these last days, is through your faith and works, man. Yeah, and like we said, even now, there's so much different ways, man. Yeah, so many different ways. Like, me with this whole disease, he could release another disease. Which, when you read the Rockefeller plan, they say they're going to release a disease that have 30 to 40% kill rate. Mm. Right? If they if they uh, see people bucking up. He can release diseases out here. How can you fight against that? None. Like Trump said, that's an invisible enemy. Yeah, that's right. And guess what? You have to go to your enemy for one of all. You have to go to him for food. You have to go to him for water. Esau could, like the brother had a dream, Esau could, the water was contaminated. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, ask, answer the question, how are you going to fight up against that, man? How? Come on, man, you sound ridiculous, man. Okay? It's a waste of time you've been waking up to you being an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Just remain a nigger, man. Because that's how niggas think. That's right. All right, go ahead. Um, I got John chapter 21 and verse 24. This is the disciple which testifieth of these things, and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Yahweh did, the which, if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written upon There you go. So Yahweh did so much things that all the books in the world can even contain it. What did Yahweh say? That day you shall do even greater, man. That preset too. Yeah. So it's not far fetched to believe brothers gonna do common kami man. That's right. That's right, eh? You gotta get with the spiritual power. We gonna, we gonna come on, man. You're gonna be creative with the power, man. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah, all them cartoons and the comics and all what the Japanese do. That's all based on Jake anyway, man. That's why I resonate with Jake's spirit. It resonates with your spirit. Um, and then when you look at the greatest fighters, they all Jake's, man. The John Jones, Mayweather's. They the Israelites, man. Okay? And them guys, more likely, they have the two thirds. So how much more than the 144? Man? Oh, man. Eleven, believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Oh, else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth for me, the works that I do, it's like the works that I do, shall he do also. Now, nah, you gotta read that again. I gotta read that again. They gotta hear that scripture. John so, 14 and 12. These are basic scriptures, man. Go ahead. John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Truly, truly, I say unto you. Go ahead. He that believeth for me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Yahweh Shai said, if you believe on me, the works you see me do, ye shall do also. Go ahead. And greater works than these shall ye do, because I go unto my Father. Greater works. Okay. It didn't happen back then, it's going to happen now. Okay. But Yahweh Shai said, you won't even do even greater works. So brother, we're going to do all things out here. Why do you think the scripture says thy people shall be willing in the day thy power, man? Okay, when you have power, everybody gonna want to submit, man. Mm -hmm. See, but the key is Yahweh Shai said you gotta believe on me. If you believe in yourself, like that means you like matter of fact, give me first John 5 and 11. chapter 5 and verse 11 and it reads and this is the record that the most high have given us given to us eternal life and this life is in his son yeah is there anything more than that? Yeah. verse um, 12 he that hath the son hath life and he that hath not the son of the most high hath not life yeah and that's why the scripture says this is the record so the bible is what where he said i come to the volume of the book these are the records, bro. How you doing, Shalom? See? Like you said, um, these are the records, man. Okay, so when we look at the records of our forefathers and saw the great deliverance stories, man, come on, man. That's supposed to build your faith up, man. Right? Okay? 
We said the most high. What did King David say? The most high teaching my hands to fight here for 44 and 1, man. Hands to warm my fingers to fight, man. See, King David was a shepherd boy, man. Yeah. Most high took a shepherd boy of the least of his brethren. And his family was already poor. And made that man king of Israel. Right? It wasn't because of King David's accolades or he was extremely smart or he was built like Saul. Because Samuel was going to take his other brother that had a similar build to Saul. Tall, broad shoulders. Oh, they ain't choosing because of that, man. Uh, Lord just chose him and made him great, man. It's the same thing with us. Going for right? Lord willing. Lord willing, man. Lord willing. You know what I mean? I got a precept too. Cut. Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. And that whole chapter is good too. That whole yeah. chapter is good, man. Like when you read that whole chapter is going into you go into Wicked Jake's Esau, they plans. And matter of fact, stop 17. Verse 17. For he sorry, for he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. There you go, man. And that, that's what we have. We want to put on the garments of salvation. Okay. Okay. And was clad with zeal as a cloak. Yeah, man. That's what you want, man. Go ahead. Verse 18. That's what the scripture says. Um, Blessed is he that keepeth his garments. Yeah, right. See, when Adam sinned, he took all the, those garments off. Mm -hmm. See? That's what it means he was naked. It don't mean he was running around naked. That's a bugged out story. Yeah. Man. That's something that's written in the Greeks for right. Yeah. I'm saying naked people running around. That's just, come on, man. That's crazy, man. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's not talking about that, man. Go ahead. Verse 18. According to their deeds, accordingly, he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense his enemies. To the islands, he will repay recompense. Mm. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. They fear the name of the Lord right here. Because right here, this is this is that whore that sitteth upon many waters. Right. And the scripture says one of her names is blasphemy. They blasphemed the name of Yahweh Shinel Shah. They said, um, they said Yahweh Shah was uh, Cesare Boger. And they took his people and put them in captivity and stripped them of their nationality. Right. They said that you were niggas, fixed, black, African, um, Indians, all this crazy shit, man. And you crossed out the true Messiah. And then you took the Most High's records, the book, and sweat on it. And said, in God we trust. Lying demons, man. Right? Okay? So you've just been lying, man. The scripture says what? Read that. Isaiah 59 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Mm. Well, the enemy shall come in like a flood. So they're going to come in as a flood, man. Okay. It's going to be a lot of calamities, a lot of trouble, a lot of pain, a lot of death, a lot of anguish is going to be in the society. All right? The scripture says it's going to come down with great wrath because he, he knows he have but a short time. He's like a madman staring up. Right. That's how they showed that video. Brother showed a video. That witch slash... A political leader it was in Europe some meeting they had and this was back in 2014 and she said we have seven years to accomplish what we need to accomplish which goes hand in hand with agenda 21 mm. so by 2021 they want to have things up to a certain degree man that's why it's 2020 they've been moving fast yeah okay right. they're moving fast man so we approaching that time man okay we're approaching that time man all right good when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua shall lift up a standard against him. What's the standard spiritual power, man? Right. What's the standard? The angels offended you, man. That's the standard, man. Right. Okay. That's the standard. Man. That's why we're gonna read Ephesians two and eight. See, dudes lack faith, man. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and, and this whole thing is based off faith yeah. now, How do you know you're an Israelite? You don't have no records yeah, You, you don't have no records man. You're full of shit man. <laughs> You don't have no records saying you go back to <laughs> Judah man Yeah God, God. Or you go back to Benjamin or Levi Where's your records at man? When you read about Paul and Moses They had their genealogy man Yeah, yeah how was shy genealogy is Matthew the first chapter Right you Go right. all the way back to Adam He has his records what records do we have? We don't have no records, man. It's based off faith, man. 
ready. Go ahead. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that none of yourselves. God, it is a gift of your hallow. There you go. It's a gift. It's a gift. So us being saved is a gift. It's just because of his mercy. He had mercy on you. And, and that's how you're going to be saved. The scripture says, not of yourselves. Okay? That's what the scripture says. No man shall buy you. No man shall save you. And you had many other leaders who tried to come along, and it never worked. Marcus Garvey couldn't do it with Back to Africa movement. Martin Luther King couldn't do it with his whole integrating into Edomite society. Malcolm X couldn't do it with the nation. Of Israel. None of them guys could do it, man. Okay? None of them guys could do it, man. Some of you Jake suck all you gotta learn the law and law and law and law and law. He still don't respect his own law, man. Some say he's a forger of lies, man. Okay? You don't respect his own law, man. That's right. You don't care where you go beat him in a political system. He don't give a shit about that, man. First of all, he changes the laws just like that. Okay? Yeah, he right, he right, unrighteous decrees daily, man. Okay, this whole they done made this bullshit. That's a law right now. Oh God! Oh, you have to have a mask on, man. So bullshit. That's an unrighteous decree, man. Okay. okay. Oh, no public gatherings. Oh, you see, in California, they said if they see anybody, um, no, 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 no. We gotta read that article, man. Con, con. See why? Why is not protest about this? And I'll show you how dumb the American people are. I'm gonna read this article, man. There should have been an uproar about this. Should have been uproar about that statement he said. Well, this is wicked as hell, man. Let's get right. the article. Give you a fine. You motherfuckers said we're gonna take off your power and we're gonna shut off your water. You ain't trying to kill them, basically. Kill them. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti, he looked like a uh, beat of my Spaniard. He said, he said on Wednesday that he is authorizing the city to shut off utility service to properties where large parties and gatherings are held. I said he said that starting Friday, the Los Angeles apartment. Hold on one second. The, the app told me something about uh, Beirut. I'll get back to what it says. Our city said it's starting Friday. The Los Angeles Department of Water and Power will cut off. Wow. The Department of Water and Power would cut off water and power service in ingredient gracious, oh, yes. which I guess it means flagrant or very bad cases where unpermitted large parties and gatherings take place. So they're saying, and you know in LA is always parties. Mm -hmm. If you have a large gathering, or you have a party in your home, forget finding you. We're going to shut off your water and we're going to shut off your power. Mm -hmm. So if, if a building is having a party, let's say one unit having a party, and the building don't check that person, Building on check and then the city will. The city gonna shut off the power what it's gonna do. See? Uh, see? Now tell me if common sense can that's nothing this has nothing to do with COVID-19. This has nothing to do with COVID-19, man. This is all about power, man. Yeah, yeah. Little by little they taking more of your rights away, man. Mm -hmm. Right underneath your eyes, man. Now let's show you how hip hit the hypocrisy of the government. L.A., New York, all them states say, yeah, we down with those George Floyd protests. Mm. And it was millions of people out there gathering. Yeah, yeah. Millions, man. And them, them, them assholes, and they still out there in Portland, 
doing all kind of bullshit, which that's all set up. Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter and Antifa causing nothing but chaos. Yeah. The government said they were down with it. Right? We, we're going to have uh, police reform and all this other bullshit. But at the same time, you can't have a party in your house. Come on, man. Are you serious? You serious? A thinking person would be like, you guys are... Come on, man. How can you fall for that, man? Yeah. You were down with the George Floyd protest. We showed you that it was all set up in the state. Mm -hmm. Right? To cause nothing but anarchy and chaos and to get rid of the police. And it was, like you said, it was millions of people out there. Man. Millions, man. Okay? But if we see you having a little 20, 30 get-together with your family and friends, we're going to take off the water and power. That's wickedness, man. That's wicked as hell. Matter of fact, let's get that. Revelation 13 and 11. Revelation chapter 13 verse 11 And I beheld another beast cometh up out of the earth And he had two horns like a lamb And he spake as a dragon He's speaking as a dragon right? He presents himself like a lamb With his smooth words and his, his uh, $10,000 suit yeah. Right? Uh, we all about democracy and change and helping the people Now he's speaking as a dragon Yeah and, 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 and how is he doing it? He didn't do it straight up. He's using COVID-19 as a cover. It's just mm -hmm. a cover up. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, because we don't want the virus to spread. But hold on. Couldn't the virus have spread with all the protesters that was out there, man? Right. Huh? Wasn't the virus spreading with all the millions of people out there, man? Well, I guess the virus was spreading then. Yo. <laughs> Yo, man, but you know what, though, man? These people out here, they fall for that, though. Mm -hmm. See? They, they fall for that, man. They ready to be slaughtered. Uh, like that woman said, she said it perfectly. The first lockdown it was a live exercise to see who was awake, who's not awake. They have the uh, they 5G technology. Do they facial recognition? Who wearing the mask and who not wearing the mask? Who's being obedient and who's not? He did a live survey, he saw, okay. The blue states, the majority of people fell for it. A lot of these red states, a lot of these rednecks, you know, you know they the wicked. They have some common sense. They're like, listen, we not wearing no masks, man. That's bullshit, man. Okay? And they're also saying, listen, we not taking that vaccine, man. We don't trust Bill Gates and the deep state, man. What is Jake doing? Jake shooting and killing each other in the hood, man. Violence done went up by how much percent? Um, since they um, said they was going to uh, cut down on the police. Mm. They didn't even fully do it yet. As soon as Jake heard it, yeah. niggas went, oh, there was another Chicago rapper who died. I don't even know. Yeah, that FBG Duck. I don't even know that nigga. He got gunned down. And they said he, was, he made some song mocking other dead rappers. I believe so, yeah. They said something about dead bitches, something like that. I was reading the article. One of his, one of his, one of the most famous songs he made. Um, they say he was mocking like other dead rappers in Chicago. They used to do that. Yeah, he used to do that. Like who, who makes fun of the dead, man? I mean, niggas are yo, man. Y'all, but you know, y'all do what you got to do, man. That's These right. niggas got to go, man. Yeah. That's just crazy, man. These niggas are out of their mind, man. Okay. And what happened? Now nah, he, he he ended up getting gunned down, man. See? You know what he rapped about? Yeah. He had a song called um Slide, and he basically saying like um basically you know pull up, basically slide, pull up to him with a gun. He's saying that. He said, oh, you gonna slide to slide then. You know what I'm saying? He said, let me hear some shots fired then. He was saying that in his song. I remember that, that that was like a while back, like 2018, 2018, 2017, he came out with that song. Oh. I remember hearing that, I'm like, man. From your mouth to the most high's ears. That's what scripture says. Your problems in 1821? Niggas in this, this bullshit. And the most I've been dropping you rappers this year all year, man. I did a video not too long back on all the dead rappers. And I didn't even cover a quarter. Most of the niggas you don't even never heard of or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. All you guys getting gunned down. The last one was in Brooklyn. Some niggas, I don't even know these niggas. Man. The one was in Toronto. You know what I'm saying? And then, now nah, this dude, FBG, Duck. <laughs> like, come on, man. You guys still don't get it, man. Keep talking that bullshit in your songs and killing and, and drugs and pushing this poison. Now all that stuff is falling upon you guys, man. You pushing death in your music, man. Right. You dancing, I call that video, you dancing to the tunes of death, man. Right. 
Right. And that's what the scripture says. They're going to read it. Proverbs 18 and verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Read it again. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Man. Okay, the words we speak are powerful. Okay, the words you speak. That's how. The, that's why the Most High call you Howard Shai the Word, man. Whatever He spoke became reality, man. Yeah. Okay. But you keep pushing that death, 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 death. It looks like death came your way, man. The same shit you talk about shooting niggas up and all that. You went out the same way, man. Right. That's what Scripture said. Read it one more time. Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power. of and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. There you go. Okay. So, like there's old saying, you reap what you sow. That's right. That's right. That scripture said, Colossians three twenty four. Colossians three and verse twenty four. And it reads, knowing that the Lord. Knowing that of the Lord he shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Hamashiach. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect to persons. Read again. Verse 25, Colossians 3 and 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. He that hath done wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Alright, so. Shalom, shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying?